how you go from this lighting to, to this professional looking image, for example, for your YouTube studio, like in my case. Hello, my name is David, and today I'm going to show you how to do a three-point lighting setup with the new lights from Scion. For the setup, I will use two of the new Fibery F100 stick lights from Scion as a key light and as a back or rim light. And as a fill light, I will use one of the new Fibery M40 lights. Before I show you how to set up your lights at home, we will take a quick look to these new lights. You get these lights in this nice little pouch, perfect for traveling. You get the light itself, charging cables, a diffusion sheet to diffuse the light and a grid to have more control over your light. Also these two leaf barn doors for more um, control of the direction of your light. You just snap it on and then you're ready to go. Fully adjustable, you got a rubber grid on your handle for a secure grip. You charge the lights with USB-C and of course you can power them while charging. On the bottom you have a little screw to mount the lights wherever you want to. On the back side you got six fans for cooling the light in every situation. The light is full RGB so you can choose whatever color you like. And of course you can adjust the intensity of your light and the saturation of the RGB effect. The power output of the lights are 100 watt. This is only 1% of the power. You can run the lights at 10 watt for over five hours, at 15 watt for over an hour, and on max output 100 watt, you got 30 minutes runtime. This is 1% and this is 100 and it's pretty damn bright as you can see. And this is the Fibery M40, the new pocket light I'm using as a fill light. You have this little bracket here for mounting it any way you like, and then you can fully adjust the light when mounted. As you can see, even on the lowest, this light is pretty damn bright. And when I go up to 100%, for a pocket light this size, it's pretty damn bright. And for most content creators like myself, definitely enough for all my needs. Let's separate all of the three light sources so you can see and understand how every single one of them affecting the subject. The backlight, you can see it's only lighting the backside of my hair, my face, and the backside of my shoulder. Adding the key light in, you can see this side of my face is lit perfectly, but the other side of my face is a little bit too dark, so we have to add a fill light. Fill light is added, the fill light side is a little bit darker, but it's okay to add a little bit of separation between these two sides. And this is basically the three-point lighting setup with the key light, the fill light and the backlight. So how to set up your lights for a three-point lighting setup in your studio to create this look. Let's start with the key light. The position of the key light is 45 degrees to one side of the camera, in my case to the right, and the light should come a little bit from above. And I use one Fibery F100 with the diffusion sheet on 20% power. At this side, next one is the fill light. The fill light is on the opposite side of the key light, also around 45 degrees. And for diffusion for the fill light, I use the diffusion side of this little reflector, placed like this in front of the fill light. The backlight um, or rim light to light this side of my face and the back side of my shoulders. I use for this a second F100 from behind, also with diffusion to make the light source a little bit softer. And that's it how you create a three point lighting setup with only one pocket light and two of these stick lights to create a professional looking lighting setup for your YouTube studio. Thanks for watching and enjoy lighting.